What is up guys, it's your boy Rick Kakis, and today, after a few hours of delays, the Solstice Summer Event is finally live within Destiny 2 Season of the Haunted. And Bungie really didn't talk about this beforehand, but we have two weapons to chase with this event. The first one is the Compass Rose Shotgun, returning from last year's Solstice of Heroes event, but it has a new perk pool and a new origin trait. And the other one, the focus of this video, is something new. No, seriously, it's a brand new hand cannon called the Something New. It is a 120 rounds per minute aggressive frame stasis hand cannon. So we're going to be taking a look at the possible perks it can get and determining its best PvP and PvE god rolls. So let's get started here by taking a look at that new origin trait called Dreamwork. So again, both the weapons have this and it says once per reload, assists or assisted final blows partially refill the weapon from reserves, potentially overflowing the magazine. So if I'm reading this right and how my gameplay dictated it worked is that you get a bunch of assists and then when you reload your gun, it just gets some free ammo and potentially it can cause it to get a significantly bigger magazine. Honestly, seems pretty underwhelming at first glance, especially compared to other origin traits out there. However, I'm sure there's going to be people who figure out, you know, you can throw a blinding grenade out there, get a bunch of assists, and then somehow have a 30 round mag for your hand cannon, right? It's like, someone's going to abuse this uh, origin trait for sure, but for general play, again, it seems alright, but not insane. Alright, but let's move on from there and take a look at its perks. So, in terms of barrels, you do have the normal assortment. Now, on a 120, you can certainly go for something like Full Bore Hammer Forge to get that absolute maximum range. Now that Flinch is tied to uh, stability, you may want to go for something like Small Bore. I don't know, really up to personal preference. Then, in the second perk column, we do have the Extended Meg perks. That can make a pretty big difference. You know, two extra rounds on only a small single-digit magazine size can really Really matter, but also going for something like ricochet rounds for that bonus to range and that 10 stability may be what you want. Uh, reload increasing perks too, like flared mag. Well, again, you have a limited magazine size. Those are definitely going to come up. But then we have the first main perk column here and we have feeding frenzy. So getting kills is going to improve the reload speed stacks up to five times. Yeah, definitely with this type of hand cannon, that's going to be pretty good. Wellspring giving you more ability energy can be pretty saucy, we'll talk about that later. Stats for all, I think this is going to be really bad here. Hitting three separate targets with a really slow 120, definitely you want this perk more on like a fast shooting auto rifle. Triple tap is going to be a bit better for Accurate weapons like hand cannons, you have Ensemble, improved handling and reload speed when allies are nearby, okay. Tunnel vision can be not bad, increasing um, at target acquisition and ADS speed, certainly for PvP. Then we have that second column. And first of all, we have Headstone, right? Like this is a stasis weapon, so get a precision final blow, you make a stasis crystal, very synergistic, and you can kind of abuse those to do a lot of awesome stuff. We then have Demolitionist for more grenade energy, instant Instantly reload the weapon when you throw a grenade. Harmony is kind of interesting on a 120 get a kill with another weapon and maybe you're going to get enough damage from Harmony to two tap an enemy in PvP. You also have multi kill clip which can potentially assist in getting uh, that two tap in PvP. And then we have well rounded throwing a grenade or hitting a target with a charge melee grants bonus uh, stability handling and range. And then lastly we have thrush for more super energy. So what roles should you be going for? Well, let's actually start here with the PvP role, because honestly, the first impressions of this weapon all over Twitter from PvP players were not very positive. You're probably going for something like, you know, Hammer Forge, Small Bar, you know, increasing the range a bit here, probably then Ricochet Rounds for that stat increase, and then your options are a bit limited. Maybe Tunnel Vision maybe Wellspring for those free, you know, a little bit of benefits to abilities, maybe Feeding Frenzy. Uh, in that second slot, really nothing too crazy. 
Harmony, multi-kill clip are really the things I'm looking at. Maybe headstone if you like already playing with a headstone weapon, but we're kind of stretching it at this point. And frankly, there are better uh, 120s out there. But certainly, the fact that it's stasis is pretty darn cool. And that really leads into the PvE god roll, because on the PvE side of things, it's looking a lot more interesting. So... For PvE, I think your the bear really doesn't matter as much here. Then I think you probably do want like appended or extended for that magazine size increase or potentially flared magwell for the reload increase. And then I think you're going for um, Wellspring. So you're going to get ability energy whenever you get kills and then you're combining that with Demolitionist. There is one other gun in the game. The Omga PR6 Pulse Rifle that can get this Wombo Combo. And that is Solar. This being Stasis and the best Stasis builds in the entire game pretty much all involve grenades, especially think about the Osmiancy Gloves Stasis Warlock. That is all about grenades. You're telling me that if I get a kill now with this hand cannon, I get both a chunk of grenade energy from Demolitionist and then another chunk of grenade energy that that stacks on the first from Wellspring. So you're going to be able to get your grenade back with this uh, roll unbelievably fast. And then you can put on stuff like Font of Might to increase uh, stasis weapon damage. And then this weapon will benefit from that. And you're going to be getting stasis elemental wells all the time from the elemental shards mod that turns all of those stasis shards into elemental wells. Like really, we have a powerful addition to stasis PVE builds here. And I think that is really gonna be the role I'm going after. With all that being said, you could also simply go for something like Feeding Frenzy plus Multi-Kill Clip. That's going to be solid. Feeding Frenzy plus Headstone, if you want to go that direction, instead for Stasis, is also going to be very synergistic. Like, a Titan may want that a bit more because you get so many Crystal Shattering benefits. But yeah, Wellspring plus Demo, heck of a combo. Only the second time ever we've seen it, and really, really darn powerful, especially because this is Stasis. Now, the one downside to all of this is simply the fact that it's a 120 hand cannon, which generally are okay at best in PvE. I mean, if this was a 900 RPM SMG that could get Demo plus Wellspring, I would be freaking out. But, you know, is it going to be better than other stasis weapons with Demo? Well, perk-wise, yes, the addition of Wellspring is huge. But gameplay-wise, you know, for people who don't like the 120 hand cannons, we'll have to wait and see. Still, though, this is a unique enough roll, first of its kind on a stasis weapon. I think it's worth going after. And so, guys, that is going to be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.